Hello and welcome to the moon. Uh, I have just started up a new world here and I'm hoping that uh, this will develop into a series. But uh, I have not playtested this, I just uh, started our world, started recording, so we'll see how it goes. We are currently on the moon, as you can see, but it's not quite the regular moon. Um, we have uh, no ISIS spawning here. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll see it better when we walk around later. But I have no volatile ice, no oxide ice, and no water ice anywhere. I also have no coal spawning here because why would you find organic matter on the moon? Um, and because of that, I have also tweaked the starting conditions a tiny bit. I have a, huge, a large water tank, so that we are not in a super rush for water. Uh, and I have... Let's see if you can find the plant chest somewhere. Yep, here. Instead of mushrooms, I have three Darga ferns. But that's all the changes to the starting conditions, extra water and uh, and three Darga ferns. And we essentially have absolutely no gases here. There is no atmosphere, there is no ice. We have to make everything from scratch. So uh, let me start on some mining and um, I'll uh, catch you back when we start building. I got some basic ores to get us running uh, and let's start plopping down the base. In addition to the gas challenges here, I also want to restrict the base size a bit. Let's see, we can do... Uh, uh, I want to restrict the base to a 3x3x3 three by three by three cube. In in um, in total volume, so that we also have a bit of um, space restriction, rest so that we also have a bit of space restrictions. But we are playing on stationary difficulty, so we need a safe room to get so so that we can get to drinking and eating. Um, we also need to prioritize plants as soon as possible because our the plants will be the source of uh, pretty much everything. We need both food and gases and of course coal. Let's see. So I'm thinking of uh, limiting the base to essentially inside here, three, three wide, three deep and three high. And um, with exception of uh, putting um, radiators and solar panels like sticked to the outside, everything has to fit inside this cube here. So. That will definitely be exciting to see how we manage that. Let's see. Probably need an airlock about here. <clears throat> and uh, some trash in the backpack we don't need. Let's see. Let's uh, start with uh, these, I think so that we get some welding done. So, but having absolutely no gases available to us means that we need to produce everything. Uh, we of course have an ox oxygen tank that we start with that will go to fill up the base. 
so that we have a room to breathe in. But uh, things like um, welder fuel is going to be a problem. And the goal of the base here is, of course, to have a gas generator running. But with uh, no ices and no atmosphere, that's going to be tricky. I am not building an ice rocket or a mining rocket of any sort. Um, that would kind of defeat the purpose. So for now I'm just trying to get the base up. I could of course settle with a smaller space, but I think I got the time to finish up this. So before we need to drink. Now because we're on the moon, we don't have any storms and we can last a long time on our oxygen tank and battery and stuff like that. So. It's not a huge rush on anything, I'm kind of chilling, but um, yeah. For now we just need to get uh, some ore smelting and um, yeah, even, even things like ore smelting we should probably save most of the gases. Uh, let's see where I should start this. So, sunrise, sunset, probably there. And then this goes for the airlock somewhere. And uh, welcome back. One in-game day has passed. We're on the next night now and I have done a bit of work. Um, I set up the electronics printer, pretty much done the, the airlock and um, put up one of the solar panels. This is on sunrise. And I'm trying to rush to get a few more solar panels and that we will just line the side with to get more power. And the, the arc furnace is isolated from the base because as of now it will release a bit of toxins that I'm not quite ready to handle. But um, soon we'll get that... Um, uh, soon we'll just include it into the base and just handle the outgasses. But right now it's just venting outside. We are uh, currently dying of thirst, so we have to we have to close up shop here. Health low. And um, essentially just release our oxygen tank. It's a thousand degrees in here. How did that happen? I guess I was welding something and it didn't quite leave us, but... Come on. Ah. It's probably fine. It's probably absolutely no gases. So as soon as I release here, it should be fine. 20... 5 kp, I think. We don't need to release everything. Let's just double check that. I hope, really hope I have um, glassed up everything. really hard to tell if the glass is in. Ugh. Let's see. I think so, the pressure isn't disappearing, so let's go back up. So basically this space here is everything we have to work with and 
you can probably guess that it's going to be crammed with everything in here. Uh, we absolutely need tons of um, hydroponics to keep us alive. So where are we gonna put all that? I don't know, but uh, we'll have to figure it out. It's gonna be a bit of a Tetris experience trying to fit everything in here. That's uh, everything that's necessary to keep a base self-sufficient. So if you ever seen the, my Venus world, it's we are trying for the same thing, except in a smaller space without any atmosphere. So there are some things that's uh, easier and some things that's harder. I think it's a uh, breedable hair yet. Let's see if I try to open the helmet. And let's see, unlock first. And power low, low pressure, oxygen critical. Low pressure. Ah, we'll drink up. All right, so at least we're not dying now. But we need more solar panels because we are way too power hungry for this one solar panel. So, solar panel basic. Copper, iron, copper and gold. And I have a bit here, so... Let's... Get that rolling on some solar panels. And um, yeah, let's let's get some solar panels up and running first. As many as we can get. We definitely need to make sure we have power for this guy. Uh, let's see. Wiring in the blind is always funny. We just need to make sure there is power for the activant so that I'm able to get back outside. Four of these should be a good start. I'll uh, try to spread it out most uh, over here. So we don't have coal here, and which means we are a bit far away from any steel not that we would have uh, gases for a furnace anyway so exactly how we'll uh, solve all that I don't uh, really know yet we'll uh, take one problem at a time currently we have a place to breathe and um, that's about it Let's see, so when we start up we don't have any passive events, so I'm just uh, adding some pipes here. These pipes can store a lot of gas, so we got a few cycles on the airlock before we need to, uh, need to uh, get a passive event. First up is just the power issue, so yeah. Um, we can probably head outside. I don't want to go through the airlock too much yet, but we have power for some of them. Let's see, and we have absolutely no more copper anyway. Um, let's see. I'm actually going to steal this cable. And we'll uh, get some more copper as soon as the sun comes up. We are going to need a battery in this guy and um, let's see, that's our battery. And the helmet is closed so we can 
close the door and vacuum our airlock. There we go. So to set up the solar panels, because we don't have a large battery, it's uh, we are kind of capped by how much power it can absorb because the APC can't absorb all powers like the stationary battery can. So there is no point in overdoing it, but we'll add uh, uh, let's see and one on this side and it's probably fine. I don't have any glass actually uh, thinking about it. So this was kind of pointless. Let's start on the other end to see how much cable we have. Let's see, there, there. all our cable sun is coming up so let's go uh, I need some of this so that we can make some glass preferably very very quick so that we get some of that power it's probably good And then we can, um, yeah, we don't really need to do that when going inside from a vacuum. This is good. Uh, yeah, let's. Let's get this guy working on that and a bit of wall hack and it's running. And this guy needs to be working as well. Right, so I have uh, kind of dug myself a little bit down here because I can't make glass before I have power on this guy. I can't give him power before I have um, power on... Uh, before I have um, copper on the electronics printer. So... Yeah, um, that's the status so far. Um, just need to get power at least semi-reliable and these panels maybe i'll add one more just to have two on each side should last us for quite a bit um, then it's basically starting out in hydroponics after that i completed the solar panels i talked about and i have uh, just been out mining again to um, get some more resources but so I was looking at my space in here and in order to get a pipe bender in here I should probably move the furnace a bit around so uh, I thought I would also show you a quick trick on how to automate the arc furnace Let's see, I just need to clear out what's already here. We need this, let's see, and just remove the shoots there. So let's see if we find a good spot for it. There is probably a good spot. Um, so we can probably just do those as uh, output and just do a shoot here uh, 
I see I don't have too much inlets. I don't have too many ships. And then we need to connect. Hold on, I don't think it likes that very much. We need to go one out and then somehow get this all connected. Come on, there we go. Then the art furnace should go nicely in there. And I need to turn it off, turn it on, let's see. There we go. Now it's on. We can go and uh, set the shoots back and let's see, I need some copper. So I'll dump some copper in there and let's just fill the rest with iron. Oh, I did. He didn't like that one. Come on. There we go. And let's hop inside and um, I'll show you how to automate it. Let's uh, vacuum here, of course. Let's see. And I have these two sh logic IOs. That's all we need two IOs. Uh, actually, I need some cable. Cable. Just make the cable, please. Uh, let's do it over here. We need a logic slot reader. There we go. Uh, one of those. And a logic writer. One of those. And then. We just connect it together with the network. Let's hope I have hydration critical enough cable. I think I do. There we go. So if we read the arc furnace, slot import and then occupied. It should say one, and then we read the slot reader. We go to the arc furnace and we set activate on this. It will now automatically start smelting when something is uh, in the input slots. So we can just fill the chute and hopefully build, build up the chute. We have um, a power critical. There we go. So we can just uh, extend the chute and have a huge queue of uh, ingots that will uh, automatically be smelted in the arc furnace. But uh, yeah, uh, I need um, I need to get a pipe ender up and running. Uh, so that we can hook up some water and um, hydroponics Hopefully uh, as fast as possible with the hydroponics we can get uh, a lot more gases we can get more oxygen and um, With uh, we can also of course make food, but our, we can put the food in our recycler to get um, to get charcoal. Yet another sunrise here on the moon and I have been uh, working a bit. I have uh, cut out all the boring crafting and stuff so that uh, the videos get a bit shorter. But I have set up the um, pipe ender and uh, I have made a few floors I could as you can see it's just it's just uh, floor grating between them for now 
and uh, I have essentially made three floors and up here is what's um, becoming the hydroponics floor and uh, I have set up a few hydroponics trays here and connected it to a pipe up to this guy because we spawn with one liquid uh, canister and this should probably be enough to um, to uh, keep the plants happy for a while so let's uh, try to plant some yeah yeah they seem happy i'm keeping one of each just to be safe i definitely don't want to set up a um, trader at any at this point so i'm just we can just plant uh, a few crops here and it will grow for us during the day but if you see the external temperature here are now 45 hydration critical 45 degrees so it's getting a bit hot and the reason for the heat is primarily the sun so the sun is generating some uh, heat inside i was planning on just taking a pipe and a radiator outside and do with a manual valve should have been enough problem with that plan is that a radiator requires two steel and um, yeah steel is not something we are looking at just yet but that means uh, we have another way we need another one way of cooling so to do that i wanted to start uh, this floor which is going to be uh, atmospherics floor i guess um, so what we are doing to to cool down the base is essentially the same plan as how we are going to get steel anyway so we are just grabbing a few things here we need a passive vent and a regulator uh, let's see yeah the oxygen tank the portable tank i just emptied it out in here you can see the pressure is 35 now so it should be fine uh, I need to place um, uh, air conditioning up there, so uh, I'm hoping, nope, uh, how about that guy, I should probably actually, yeah, I, of course I can't make um, uh, insulated pipes, so this will uh, just have to do. Um, Let's see, let's think about this. Um, yeah, it really doesn't matter too much. It probably has to move anyway. Um, so what we want is, uh, let's see. We want to be able to fill this pipe with some atmosphere and then just cool it down somehow let's see if we do that maybe and then let's see how would the regulator yeah i guess so This will most likely get moved at some point because this is a mess but um, yeah no it has to be that way right so uh, a bit of power to that we can where do we grab power from? Probably down there. So we head back down and we can take this frame out. The frame is simply to have something to put um, the atmospherics on. But 
let's see 21 cables is probably not gonna cut it let's just start some cables so as long as we don't have a stationary battery we have pretty much unlimited power during daytime but nothing to nothing extra during nighttime because we can't really store everything So this is one, two, three, four, five segments there and one, two, three there. We'll see, we'll see. It'll do something. Uh, I'm just gonna... Yeah, no, I won't. we can do it kind of pretty. Connect this up here. So, we essentially, this is a pressure regulator. We give it a hundred kPa in this side for now. Yeah, it could probably stay on, but I don't have uh, too much power. And then we um, just set this to negative 200 and hit go. Does this do anything to us? Let's uh, get a better view on it. I have a tablet here. Yeah, so that pipe is definitely heating, so the energy has to go somewhere. Um, but because I don't have insulated pipes, I'm afraid I am um, also just releasing that heat back into the atmosphere into the room here so yeah uh, this I probably has to re probably have to rethink I bet I need to give it an insulated room yeah yeah so um, yeah let me quickly rebuild this and uh, just make sure my plants doesn't die or if they are seeding the rice is done already? Ew. Damn, that's fast. Seeds. Uh, yeah, the temperature is definitely not dropping here. So yeah, um... We, we need to rethink this. Um, I probably will isolate this square here and uh, move it over there and then just vacuum this out. And that should probably do it for us. Yeah, I'll get to that and I'll see you when uh, I get that up and running. Right, and that's just about in time. Um, so it's uh, kind of hard to see, uh, probably easier from here. Uh, it's basically the same setup. Um, it's just an input waste uh, configuration, uh, outputting into our room. And <clears throat> uh, this there is a one-way valve here, just to make sure that we don't uh, completely dry out that pipe. Uh, and an active vent over there, to just vacuum this uh, box it's sitting in. Uh, I have a switch here for the active vent, and a switch here for the air condition. 
so that we are able to turn it on and off and you can see the temperature is dropping pretty fast so I think we got that under control uh, but what we can do is to close up the, the furnace there now and actually just have the active vent toggle on the same uh, logic we have on the furnace so that all the off gases from the furnace actually gets used to something and uh, the only thing I'm a bit worried about is the pipe pressure but uh, let's uh, let's make a quick uh, uh, the, uh, what's uh, what's it called uh, the pipe meter pipe meter so let's make a pipe meter for that pipe just so that we have some indi indication on how that pipe is doing there we go oh, 27 degrees already that's fast we can turn it off and we can build that there so that's 30 kPa not too bad But yeah, 26 degrees all of a sudden, and um, that's perfect. Our plants should be happy, and I keep missing the rice seeds, but um, I'll guess we get it soon. Um, let's see, Darga fern still growing tomatoes. I'll, I got the seeds on the tomatoes and the potatoes and the corn, so I'll just leave them for a second. Um, let's see, but we also have a recycler and uh, I'll just stick it right here for the time being and we'll hook this up hopefully I checked this a while ago hopefully it still works if we take our four rice that's going to decay soon enough anyway. And plonk it in here. Do we get... Yay. That's region mix. I think when we stick this in a furnace, it will show up as charcoal. Hopefully. But uh, anyway, I... Not sure how long the episode has lasted yet, but um, it's probably a good time to end it. We are able to... we have the crafting setup, we have the base cooling. Yeah, actually, before we leave, um, let's get one glass. And uh, quickly set this up. Let's see, one glass. Uh, he's complaining about drinking, and I'm out of water here, so screw that. Um, yeah, I've set up the airlock as well. I just keep it off to save power. Let's see. So we can. Uh, hopefully, this works. Border this up. I'm guessing the gases are still released on the inside, despite the glowing things are sticking out, but uh, yeah. Which means that that cube is isolated, and I'm just gonna bring with me a full bottle of water. So we still have these two bottles of water, and before we have to get dig into uh, this guy but yeah let's uh, do the thing I thought about here uh, cancel pressurization let's see and let's drink up before he complains too much so now that this guy is uh, completely um, in its own cube and the air condition is as well we can 
hopefully take this out. And just do some vacuuming. Yeah, I'll leave the rest. Uh, but what we can do is then uh, do I have to I probably have to take it from underside. Yeah. It's a bit uh, hard to work with, but let's see logic writer. And then we set this to read the slot reader. So that's the slot reader down there that uh, automates the art furnace. And then, yeah, thinking about that, it probably will get all the. Yeah, it's. We'll get all the gases we don't really want, but it's fine. Let's see. So we read the slot reader and we output to active event and we go on. So is the slot reader reading one? Yeah, it is. So there is something in this let's see is this and then we go to activate again oh but yeah so as soon as this guy i guess there was something sitting in there but when he releases this guy sucks it in and uses it for cooling, essentially. So we'll get a fraction of it into the world atmosphere, but hopefully it, don't, uh, it will hopefully not be too bad. Um, the plants will help me with uh, some of it. Is the yeah nice rice? The plants will help me with uh, at least the CO two and stuff, but. We'll get our filtration unit up and running very soon. And uh, then we'll start growing the hydroponics because we really need this. Uh, we really need a lot of uh, oxygen to be produced. So, but uh, yeah, I think that's uh, everything for now. Um, We are at least at a point of survival. We have a method of cooling the base down. And this pipe here will basically build up temperature. You can see we're all already at 600 degrees. It's not a lot of pressure in there though. So um, the thought is that when we get a substantial pressure and temperature in here, then we are able to replace the arc furnace with a proper furnace. And then just use the same pipe, basically. Toxin detected. Yep, toxin detected. And we're already at 1%. That's not good. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll have to go grab the portable um, portable um, cleaner thingy. What's it called? Don't remember. We'll figure it out next episode. Uh, for now, we are surviving. And uh, I'll see you in the next episode.